Disclaimer, this isn't a video teaching you how to get the trig derivatives. This is a video on how to remember the trig derivatives. This is not the only shortcut. This is the way we remember the formulas. If you're not in calculus, viewer discretion is advised. So what you do first is write them out in this order. Sine x, cosine x, tangent x, cotangent x, secant x, and cosecant x. After you, you do that, you kind of make a chart and separate them. Now, in order to know these, uh, the first two are given to you at the start. So you know that the derivative of sine x is cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Now the way that I've memorized it is every other one, if you know these two, which you should, these are just the, uh, the problem that you have to know these. In order to memorize them is know that every other one is going to be a negative. So positive, negative, positive, negative. And also every other one correlates with each other. So sine and cosine, just ignore these two. The bottom four, tangent relates to secant and cotangent correlates with cosecant. How so? Because the derivative of tangent is secant squared x. And the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. These two were correlated with each other. And you also know, or another way to keep uh, this memorized is that for secant x and cosecant x, the derivative will have will have themselves in it. So secant x, secant x. So the derivative of cosecant x is cosecant x, cotangent x. If you keep memorizing that every other one is negative, you'll keep it like this. And know that these two are square. Even if you don't know what trig function is the derivative of tangent x, know that it's squared. The same thing for cotangent. And you know that these two correlate and these two correlate. So the tangent or the derivative of cotangent x, it will be negative cosecant squared x. And then might as well do this since I didn't do it at the beginning. So it'd be original and derivative. So here's another way to remember derivatives of trig functions and the easiest ones are sine and cosine. Start off you have sine, you do the derivative of sine x you automatically get cosine x. Same applies for cosine. So if you do the cosine of x you equal sine of x. Now big alert if your derivative has anything to do with sine it's automatically a negative and that's an easy way to remember if the form of the derivative is negative or not. But these are the simple ones and this is the easiest way to remember the first two. Another trig function derivative shortcut is with tangent and secant. You have one tangent in the group and you have two secants in the group. The way to always remember this is that whenever you take the derivative of one of these you just multiply by the other two. So if you have the tangent to start off with your answer is always multiplying the two that are left. So you get secant squared x. And now if you also have the same works with secant, where if you have one secant, you just multiply the two that are missing and you get tangent x secant x. That's the easy way of remembering the derivatives for tangent and secant. So the same shortcut applies to the cotangent and cosecant. So you have one cotangent and you have two cosecants. You just, you start off with the one you have, so let's start off with cotangent, and you multiply by the ones that you're missing, so the two cosecants. So you'll get cosecant squared x. And like I said before, if it has to do with sine, which is cosecant is a form of sine, it is automatically put into uh, negative. So it's cotangent x equals negative cosecant squared x. The same applies with cosecant. If you start off with one cosecant, you get 
cotangent x, cosecant x, and of course negative because it is a form of sine. So to summarize, cosine and sine are paired up together, tangent and secant are paired up together, and cosecant and cotangent are paired up together. So these are just two different ways in order to memorize uh, the derivative of trig functions. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.